Hello everyone, my name is Tax Albert and welcome back to the Lovecraftian video game retrospective and welcome to Cards of Cthulhu, yet another card game based on the Cthulhu mythos. And this one here describes itself as a roguelike card RPG full of madness. In this game you take the role of a biker whose girlfriend has been abducted by monsters and your job is to drive through the wasteland on your motorcycle with a shotgun, shoot the monsters in the face and once they're all dead your girlfriend has been rescued and you win. The game is in its basics somewhat simplistic. The monsters and you trade blows. If you lose, then you go back to the beginning. If you win, you move on to the next monster. You have to defeat a total of 21 monsters, four of them are bosses, and then you win. The twist comes when the cards get introduced. You've got a couple of cards. You start with only two, but you get more after you defeat a couple of monsters. Some of these cards, the cards can be played in real time with a little bit of a cooldown deal merely damage, some of them have other effects that deal damage over time, they deal more damage when your health is low, or they restore some health and have a couple of other effects. Occasionally you also fight more than one monsters, and the monsters use different tactics. And depending on which monster you fight you might want to use different cards, and depending on which cards you have you might want to pick other cards because some of them have beneficial combos. The game is not very long, you can complete one session in just a couple of minutes, but there's a good chance that you will die a couple of times until you've mastered all the cards and learned how most of the monsters work. The game's graphics are simple, but their comic book style works pretty well. And overall it's a fun little game, but it's ultimately just that, a little game. Despite the game's name, the monsters in the game aren't particularly Lovecraftian, they look somewhat alien but they seem to be more inspired by the film Heavy Metal than the Cthulhu Mythos. But nevertheless, it's a neat little game, but ultimately it's just that. A little game. It does have a fair amount of replay value because you meet different monsters and you can use different card combos. And I would give it a recommendation as the little card game it is, but not necessarily one as a Lovecraftian game. So thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Take care and goodbye.